So actually, believe it or not, this is the fourth video I filmed today. I've been on some type of grind. You know, I've been making videos and reels back to back, trying to get some content out. Our TikTok is actually doing pretty decent. So if you don't follow my TikTok, go ahead and make sure you follow at Deron Media on TikTok. I'll be posting the reels to these videos sometimes. And you know, if you don't have time to watch a full video, you can just watch it on reels and it's a lot quicker. Again, I post it on shorts as well and Instagram. So just follow all of them. Make sure you subscribe to here as well. And you know, just get as much Duran media as you can. Today I got a pretty, you know, cool, different type of video. Uh, I've done a couple color grading type videos before, but not necessarily how I color grade. And I'm not gonna be showing that again because I don't really know how to color grade that well. I kind of just go with what I'm, what I'm taught or I have friends help me build a color grade look and then I just kind of build it from there on my own and how I want to make it look I know a lot of y'all have probably seen this really cool like dreamy mist look I would try to put it on here but I do have a mist filter on and it might make it a look a little too strong I could tweak it maybe I'll just throw it on here's how it would look if I had a mist filter on or not mist filter but mist look dreamy mist look yeah i mean it's pretty cool it's definitely a niche look though if you want to have it you can have it i prefer this little mist filter because it's subtle it's nothing strong and i don't think it looks too bad it kind of just softens the light in the back a little bit and just makes it look a little bit better if you want a video on that just come down below and i'll make one on it anyways let's go ahead and get into how you make this mist look so the first thing you're gonna have to do is open up your color page and i typically like to add the node to the last node or make it the last node so what i'm gonna do is select that node click option s and that should create a new node for you if not check your keyboard shortcuts and figure out what it is or you can just right click add a node and then connect or whatever do it from there so once you have that node put there is another node that you need to add i don't know the keybind for it so i'm just going to go ahead and right click go down to add node and then click add parallel this will add a parallel node don't necessarily know what it does but this is how people do it this is how i've done it so this is how you're going to do it so what you want to do is select the node underneath because they are parallel select the new node that is added to the node you just added and then you want to go over to your effects page and look up gaussian blur you can obviously just search it right here if you can't find it and then you just want to click and drag it onto that node now it's going to make your node look blurry go ahead and change the horizontal and vertical strength at once up to you know either max or almost max it's completely up to you now you can obviously do advanced controls if you want to have it reflect replicate you know just do different things again your choice now go ahead and go over to your primary color wheels and then go ahead and drop that set all the way down and now it's gonna look black and white but don't worry it's not gonna stay like that so once you've done that just go ahead and right click on your note again go to composite mode and then go to screen so as you can tell, it looks a little blown out and we're going to fix that. Just go over to your curves tab and then you can drag this top one down, you know, adjust it how much you want. If you want to get technical with it, you can make little curves. If you want to make certain parts pop out a little bit more than other. For me, I think this is the blacks popping out a little bit more. If I want to drop that down, the whites, the highlights will pop out a little bit more than he does and just tweak the glow to your, you know, your look that you want. So once that's done, you can tell that the look is added. I mean, it's not too bad. It's a little strong for me. I could just drop it down a little bit more if I wanted to, um, but the highlights are still a little bright. I just don't prefer this method. If I was just to do this, I'd rather do like a mist filter. But again, if you want to just have full control of your mist, then you can just do it this way. So yeah, now you can add a nice little mist look to your video and spice it up if you want to. Again, your choice is a very niche look. Not everybody goes for it, not everybody likes it, but some people do, some people love it, and some people abuse it. So yeah, I hope this helped you out and you're able to make your videos look a lot more dreamier and cinematic go ahead and make sure you again follow all my socials uh, on tiktok instagram if you want to know the gear i use i'll link down below even my socials are linked down below and yeah i'll catch y'all later have a good one make some dope videos or something yeah